Respect. Now, you genuine love, respect, Paige. I hope your day's coming along well so far. I hope you have a safe week in store for you and yours. Nothing but genuine love and respect. Protect your energy, protect your energy. Your life matters, as long, especially when you don't have malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or an innocent person at the end of the day. Respect. Yo! <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. I sorry. <laughs> Yo, you ever been one of them uh, 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 friends or uh, uh, or associates or family members that, um, you know, like when you mind your business at a, at a least expected time or whatever the case may be, and somebody be like, hey, how you doing? What's going on today? Um, let me ask you a question. Did you check my movie out yet? Did you check my book out yet? Oh, did you check out my website yet? Or did you check out, you know, what I got going on yet? Was that movie good? I just want to know if it was a movie good. You talking to me? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, you talking about the beginning, the middle, or the end? The movie. Let me know how the movie was. How was it? You know when you one of those transparent people who don't sugarcoat nothing, regardless of who it is, you're not trying to hurt somebody's feelings. You know, you're not one of those type of people who fake the funk at the end of the day, say something behind somebody's back. You know, one of those type of people, you let them know what it is right in front of their face type of energy. <laughs> and you know, sometimes they take your energy as you're being sarcastic or you're trying to be funny or whatever the case may be, but you're not, but you're being genuine, authentic yourself. Like, hello, ma'am, sir, what's wrong? <laughs> Back to the story. <laughs> so, you watched it? I'm gonna be real with you? Of course, always. <laughs> well, shit, since you said so, okay. Well, listen, <laughs> the first five minutes, that shit was draggy as fuck. The first 20 minutes, that shit put me to sleep. The first 30 minutes, I tried to figure out why did I wake up from my nap to understand what the fuck was still going on on my TV screen. <laughs> it wasn't interesting at all. Oh, but you know what? Matter of fact, I heard a couple of curse words and some screaming or something. I don't know what the fuck was going on or whatever the case may be. And I got in tune. <laughs> Maybe the last five minutes. I think that was the best part. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know when you one of those type of people... Who, who don't got a shit kosher <laughs> for no reason? <laughs> shit, you should have had me watch a motherfucking love story. A real true love story. I would have watched it from the beginning to the motherfucking end. I love shit like that, you know. Or allow me to watch some shit that I'm actually going to watch for the first fucking five minutes. So I could make it to the motherfucking end. Hello, ma'am, sir. What the fuck is wrong with people? No, that shit was whack. That shit was boring as fuck. That shit had me allow myself to know at the end of the day. I have no interest in this. And, you know, that's my personal opinion. Maybe some Somebody else might like it. You know, maybe you or whoever else you in, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, shit. I'm glad you're being fucking honest because I didn't like this shit either. What the fuck? It was boring as fuck to me too. I tried to tell them. I tried to tell them, but they didn't want to listen to me. The people ain't going to watch it. If I know I was in it, yeah, I am the star of the show. But that doesn't matter. The shit was boring. And the storyline was trash, <laughs> respectfully. The characters was trash, respectfully. Ain't nobody had any... Everybody was like zombies in the fucking movie. What the fuck was going on? I thought I was watching a fucking horror movie. This shit spooked me the fuck out because I didn't understand at the end of the day. How the fuck am I going to sleep right now? And I don't even like scary movies. What the fuck is going on? Why are the characters set up like this? <laughs> Yo, you ever have to be one of those type of people who to be transparent with somebody? Like, be real. Like, ain't no reason to hide who you are in front of somebody to not hurt their feelings at the end of the day. You can say it in a respectful way. And if they take your energy as you're being disrespectful or you're trying to be sarcastic at the end of the day, that person ain't for you. Hell no. No. That person not for you. Because at the end of the day, ain't shit funny. Ain't nothing sarcastic at the end of the day. I'm just being my transparent self at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, you taking my energy as I'm being sarcastic, I'm trying to be funny, then okay, well, that's your thought opinion on me. Who gives a fuck at the end of the day? You asked for my honest opinion. I gave it to you. You didn't like it. That's your problem. You know, some people are not ready for rejection. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You know, when you come out your comfort zone, when I mean you come out your comfort zone, be your authentic self. 
You don't have to be disrespectful to be yourself. It's two different things from being disrespectful and being your transparent self without disrespecting somebody within the process of having a conversation with somebody. Somebody asks you something, cool. They didn't like what you said because of the feedback. That's on them. That shit sounds personal. If they feel some type of way, respectfully. Don't ask for my motherfucking opinion next time then. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You're genuinely respected by all the right people. You deserve to be treated with respect 365 days with no malicious intention to bring harm towards yourself or anyone else. Respect. Never allow someone to tell you your, your thought process because they're miserable. Never allow someone to tell you your freedom because they're miserable. Never allow someone to tell you your thought process because you genuinely love yourself in a healthy way because they're miserable. Your life matters. Loving yourself is not a crime. Loving yourself is not a crime. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. Be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. And respect your neighbor. Respect. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. You matter. Respect. Nigerian love. Respect. Have a good week, y'all. Later.